Hey everyone, it's Helper Joel here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add self-assigning roles to your Discord server. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add ProBot to our server. We can do this by going to the top left and clicking on the server name. Then going down to App Directory. And in the search bar, searching for ProBot, all one word like this, and then hitting Enter to search. And we're going to select this first ProBot option here. That's in 9.6 million servers. Then we're going to go to the right and select the blue Add App option. And that's going to open this up in our browser here. From here, just select the server that you want to add the bot to. And then hit Continue. Scroll to the bottom and hit Authorize. Confirm you're a human. After we've done that, it's going to bring us here. But now we're going to go back to our Discord and exit out of this. And as you can see, ProBot is now added. What we're going to do from here is go back up to the top left of our server and click on the server name again. This time we're going to go to server settings and then go to the left and go to roles. From here, you're going to want to create all of your roles for the server. I've already gone and created all the roles that I want to use. But one thing that's important to do here is find the ProBot role and drag that above all the roles that you want to have for your self-assigning roles. That way ProBot is able to give those roles to your members. After you've done that, make sure you hit Save Changes. Now we can exit out of this. So after you've got all your roles added in your Discord server, you're now going to go to your browser. And I would highly recommend using Google Chrome as I've had problems with other browsers. And you're going to go to probot.io and you're going to sign in using your Discord and go to your dashboard and select the server on the left. From here on the left, you're going to select the embed messages option. And you're going to create an embed. You're going to name it. And you can skip this message content area and then come down here and give it a title and a description. The descriptions, you're probably going to want to say what people should be doing here. So I'm going to say, Select what roles you want. After that, you can customize all of this to however you'd like, adding images and text. Then once you've done that, you're going to hit Save Changes at the bottom. Then you're going to come up to the top right and hit the Send New Message option. And it's going to say Choose a Channel here. This is going to be the channel that your self-assigning roles are in. For me, I'm going to do General, but you can select whatever channel you'd like. And come and hit the send new message option. After you've done that, if you go back to your Discord, you'll see ProBot has sent this message, but there isn't roles for you to select yet. So you're going to go back to your browser here. Now you're going to go to the left and scroll down to the self assignable roles option right here and select this. You make sure it's checked on in the top right and hit the add message option. And this is going to pop up here where it says select and embed. You're going to go to the right and select the edit option. You're going to click on this select and embed box and hit the self assigning roles option. Then on the right where it says choose a message, you're going to click on this box and you're going to select the message that ProBot just sent in your server. After that, there's the option for how many roles each user is allowed to get. You can set this limit to whatever you'd like. Then below this here is the self-assignable role type. There's button, select menu, and reaction. For me, I'm just going to do button. And I have four roles that I want to use, so I'm going to add four buttons here. You can select whatever color you'd like. After that, 
you can just assign one of your roles to each of these buttons. After that, if you come to the right here, you can hit this little edit button right here. And there's the option to rename the button. So you can rename the button to the name of the role so that people know what role they're getting. So after we've done that, these are all matched up here. And I can scroll down. I can select what mode I want. So it could be either it only gives the roles, it only takes the roles, or it toggles the role on and off. I'm going to leave it on toggle. It's also the option to add a notification, but I'm just going to leave that on silent. After we've done that, we can just hit save changes. Now go back to our server. And as you can see, it has added these buttons here. And if I select one of them, as you can see here, if I look at my profile now, it assigned that role to me. I could select a whole bunch of these. And just like that, it gives me all the roles that I selected. I hope that this video helped you guys out. Please remember to like and subscribe.